your favorite psychic medium. I am able to go beyond the veil of life and death to connect with spirits that are sometimes nice and sometimes not so much. It might be intense, so enter at your own risk. So let's get into this tale, my story of Destiny Harrison. So I initially um, pick up her energy as one that is, um, she's very emotional, you guys. And like many of um, the readings that I do, when I connect with the spirits that have a, a tragic way of leaving this realm, they tend to hold on to that memory a lot and it's very hard for them to let things go. So uh, she is here and she, she wants to talk about um, a few things. The first thing with Destiny um, is that she loves the color purple. She is... Um, she said it was one of her favorite colors and she decided to um, do her hair or salon uh, around the color purple. It was like her signature. She's talking about um, my background as well and that's probably what's very inviting for her. That evening when she went into the store, she noticed that a few things were off. She saw some type of key or lock that looked like someone had tried to break in or someone was coming. She possibly received um, some kind of message or alert that someone was going to come and break in in the area or there have been a few break-ins in the area. She's saying that there have been a few break-ins in the area that have resulted to someone being killed a couple of days prior to that. Um, I see a girl that possibly um, was shot um, a couple of weeks prior to that. Um, as far as the location, she's saying that it was about a block or three doors, possibly about three doors down or about a block. She's saying the number three but it could be about a block down going in the east direction of her shop so she's saying that it was about three doors down or a block to where someone had um some break-ins had happened a couple of weeks prior leading up to her situation she said that she felt and a lot of others um, felt that there was some type of setup but this is someone that um, possibly was there that day. She said that they were there that day. She said during the time um, that she had came, she had arrived there, she noticed that something was off or something was different. She's saying that there's other beauticians in the, the spot or the location that she has, but she has like some type of keys. But she was saying that um, she noticed that I guess a couple of days before that or a couple of hours before that, Someone else possibly had the keys to the shop or someone else had some type of way to, to access the shop. And she was very upset about um, the way it was left. So she's mentioning something about how the store possibly could have been um, compromised or something was left open. Someone took some money out of the register. Someone took some money from her. Um, she's saying that someone took some money and someone owed her some money and it sounds like she let this particular person borrow money for her and I keep seeing a large amount of money that she let um, them borrow. Um, she's saying $3,800 that she let someone borrow. So she was actually mixed up in a, a heavy situation you guys this is not um, a situation that was very easy for her but she thought that um, things would be okay she is saying to me that she was caught up in a heavy situation someone had borrowed thirty eight hundred dollars from her and um, they were not willing to pay it back. There was an altercation a couple of, or some type of disagreement a couple of weeks prior as it relates to her and a friend. And she said that she let this particular person borrow money from her. And she's also talking about how she feels that there was some type of a setup because the cousin works in the shop. So she is saying that this is someone that is very close to her that 
however the connection is they they work in the shop she's saying that it's related to someone's cousin and then um she's she's talking a lot about the jealousy that is surrounding her it was um, a ton of vicious energies that had surrounded her from where she worked and she was actually possibly looking into like um like taking a break or like she mentioned something about taking a break or doing some hair back at home or doing it at home like she wanted to relax and take a break because she felt the energies were very strong for her for the upcoming week she said things fell through when um she did not have anyone to look after her daughter she said she was actually coming in not for a client but she was coming in to do something as it relates to some type of um preparation order business she was trying to get some things in order with with her business and she was coming in and she decided to bring her daughter with her daughter i keep picking up on something about an ava or ava or something with an a the letter a i'm picking up on like an ava or something with an a um and this could be her daughter's name she said she brought her daughter in very briefly because she did not plan on being there um the whole day but she did plan on coming in for a short amount of time she's saying that there was someone else that was there at the salon during the time it was three other people she's saying three other people a total of four she's saying that this is definitely connected with a carlos or carletta this is someone she thought that um she was very trustworthy of she's saying that she brought she let someone borrow about thirty eight hundred dollars you guys and this is a resort of money she feels that she was set up because she said no one knew at that particular time when she came into the salon that she was going to be there because she does not let people know when she comes in um, she gives little to no notice and some days um, how she books her clients out she says that she likes to do um, clients on specific days and she has it all planned out on what day she likes to interact with certain clients and um, she said that she got over to the to the salon because she knew it was something that she had to do but an emergency had came up as well um, as it relates to her business so the reason why she came over to the salon was to deal with some business dealings and emergent and an emergency that emergency which had popped up I'm seeing that her doors were like um locked or something as it relates to the doors okay so she's saying that she thought that she locked or did something with the door but something is something as it relates to the door she's talking about a locking effect um and she's she's also saying that um her trauma and her experience was great because she literally saw the end with her daughter being in the present i'm seeing a couple of things you guys i'm seeing something as it relates to uh drugs being involved not necessarily on her end and maybe that is what she's talking about when she said that she let someone have a borrow thirty eight hundred dollars but she's talking about a particular package um, and I don't know if she's relating that to like a package of uh, products or supplies that she had at the store or someone else um, that had or was willing to get some type of products or supplies. But she's saying that um, she knew that something was off um, because there are not a lot of cameras around the areas. So she is very sure that a lot of places had been um, getting like ripped off or broken into for the next for the past couple of weeks and she was there kind of getting things in order but she's also saying um, a couple of days prior to that one of her, the workers which might be um, connected to her or might have some type of cousin with this third person they might be cousins um, she's saying that this particular person had some dealings with it and um, it was some type of conversation so she's asking that um, the conversations she's seeing through um, some type of messenger account she's saying go back and um, try to review some things on a snapchat or some type of messenger and this is how they communicate it but she's talking about the words that were exchanged and different things that they should be able to find to help she's saying that it resorted all in money that this was surrounded by money she said that 
she was also robbed or someone took some money from her. So maybe this is the money that she's talking about, the $3,800. She could feel the energy, uh, the shift of the energy of that it changed um, when that moment happened. And she said it was early in the mo morning, you guys. She's saying these people came in early in the morning and she said that she thought that she did a locking effect on the door, but she didn't lock it. Um, oh, she said that she had to go back out to get something, um, possibly from a car. She was planning to go back out to get something, a package, a package. That's what it is. She said that she was planning to go back out to get a particular package. She was way off of her normal routine because her daughter was with her. And that's something that she wasn't used to. Um, she did not think that anyone would come to the store, yet alone come in the store and, and harm her and hurt her. She, um, she, a lot of people knew her. A lot of people knew what she what she did or, or who she was in the community and um, how she helped a lot of people. But she, she said that she was like a girl that, would, that had street smart. She was a street smart girl and she... Um, felt like she was protected but she didn't realize that it was so many people that was waiting for her to like to fall down she didn't realize that if there was she keeps saying there's a snake in the grass there's a snake in the grass so this is going to be someone that is very close to her she is mentioning something as it relates to um, a cousin energy she is not saying that this is her cousin, but she is saying that someone has a cousin that was responsible for um, this type of issue that it related to her. Um, she's saying that she did not think that she would be assassinated. She's saying I was assassinated. She's saying that they, they could have had anything they wanted, but they chose me. Um, so she is very emotional about that, you guys. She said they could have had anything they wanted, but they chose me. Them choosing me let me know that this was more of an inside deal. And this was not something that had occurred on the outside. She is thanking all of the investigators and the people that are trying very hard. But she's saying that the elements that they are working in, the conditions, and the little information that they have to go on is what is leading them to a dead end in the situation. And she's also saying to her daughter, she keeps saying, I don't know who Ava is or something with an A, but she's saying um, that she loves her very dearly and she knows that she'll be taken care of. She's saying that she wished that she had a better plan for her. A better plan for who was to um, take care of her and be responsible for her, but she never saw this coming this way, um, this soon. Um, she's also saying that um, her mother's energy is very, very sad, and a lot of people um, that are very, very sad for her. She does have um, a cousin that she's very close with. Um, a male cousin, she's talking about on her male cousin, something about a Tony or a Terry, a Tony or a Terry, um, a Terrence or t something with a T. She's saying that she misses you so much and she's very um, Tommy, something with a T, but she's saying Tony, Terry, t Terrence, Tommy, it's something with a T. Um, but she's saying that she misses you very much and her heart is with you. Um, she is also talking about um, how life is more, way much more than things of instant gratification. She cannot begin to think about how she wished that she was able to um, share more love with people and spend more time with people. She said this, this should have never happened to me. But they chose me and uh, they knew that I was there. They knew that I was there. They knew that I was coming at the time that I was coming. They had been following me and um, they knew that I was there. She said it did not take long from the time that she got into the store from the time that it happened. She said she does not feel that this would have happened any other day, but it happened this day because they knew that I was vulnerable and I was weak. She's saying that she had been sick or something about some type of illness or surgery that had just occurred, possibly with her daughter. And she wanted to keep an eye 
on her. I keep seeing something as it relates to some type of tooth or dental, some type of dental thing. Um, but she's saying that they, they that she was vulnerable and she couldn't think. She was um, very emotional and she didn't know why this was happening she said they chose me they chose me and she is very clear that she is not happy about how things happen um she's saying that it didn't have to happen she's shaking her head it didn't have to happen and these are the the things that i've been trying to escape these were the things that i was trying to escape um She's saying that she knew that people were like these these energies were following her. She could feel the energies a couple of weeks prior, you guys. Um, she knew that someone was praying. She's saying praying on my downfall. Someone was praying on my downfall because I was growing. She said she was making connections with people um, in the industry and she was going to different events and different shows and she was really trying to make her mark on being this young, one of the uh, youngest entrepreneurs or youngest um, inspirational per person to connect with um, so many. She was trying to build her reputation. She was trying to rebuild the brand because she had, she said that it was known for others in the community to bad talk about her brand because um, they called her Diamond, something about Diamond. Something about the princess or princess diamond. Um, something about her image was very upkept. She she made sure that she wanted that image attached with the princess diamond or something with the diamond. Um, she's talking about how she took pride in what she did, how she took pride and honor what she did. She said she came from having to work hard. She found her way through this. It was never something that she intended to do, but she found her way because it was an easy connection for her. It was something that she did all the time. So when she was able to turn that into something like her passion into a business, she said that that was an easy connection. However, she did, she is saying that she planned on kind of taking a step back and moving away and not doing um, clients. Um, some particular clients because um, it was a lot of bad talk about how some things had went down a couple of weeks prior in the shop and she said she truly feels like a lot of this is connected to someone um, someone is there and someone something about some money that she that either came up missing or she let someone borrowed um, so she said that she was going to take a step back that week and she was actually planning on doing something like away and taking a step back, but she just decided to keep moving and going forward because she didn't know how to stop and how to stop working and give herself time. She's heartbroken and she wants to, she wants everyone to know that her truth still resonates and she is still destiny. And she's talking about princess or princess or something about diamond. Um, she's talking about the way she was very selective about who she was and uh, the people that she chose to be around. And she was cutting a lot of people off in her life that she no longer wanted to be connected with. Really quickly, I want to give you guys the outcome of what Spirit is telling me what will happen. There is going to be some more people that are going to come out and come forward and talk about this situation. The community is still heal healing. They are currently like lighting. I keep seeing a lot of candles around the area and like things, teddy bears, and a lot of people saying that they were very happy that um, it wasn't her and her child at the same time. The way I see this being directed from the spiritual realm, you guys, is that someone is going to come out with some more information in a couple of weeks here. And um, it is going to be out of guilt. It is going to be out of the heart um, of someone that knows more than what they're they're telling people. The investigators are doing a very very good job with trying to get information, and she knows in her heart space that this is definitely connected to envy, jealousy, and money. So I want to thank you guys for aligning with Ariana. If you would like your own personal reading, please visit www.alignwithariana.com and be sure to shop at the store. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as share and like. For more details, for more goodies,